Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can go from these plain boring bar graphs into a pictorial bar chart in just a few easy steps. So let's jump straight into it. To save time, I'm just going to start with this chart because I've already entered the data. I'll just right click and show you the data. It's very simple. It's just in one category with seven items and their data points. And even once we finished, this is still going to be a live PowerPoint graph, so it's easy to adjust the data. We'll first make some quick changes to the graph. I'm going to click on the axis lines and delete these. Click on the vertical axis text and delete that. Click on the bars, go to the plus sign and choose data labels. If I right click and choose format data series, this panel will appear on the right and I can click on the data labels. Go to the fourth option along which is label options and choose center. I'm now going to update the font and I'm going to choose to make this pop ins. Bold and white. Size 24. And now if I click on the bars. I'm going to change the series overlap to naught and the gap width to 10. We'll click on the chart title and delete that because we've got the title up the top. And we'll click on the legend and press delete to get rid of that. I can now change the font for the bottom text. So I'll click on it, choose pop ins. We're going to go with 18, bold. And now let's drag this out so it takes up most of the screen. I'm going to quickly change the colors. And I have them all below, the ones that I want to use to make things quick. But basically, if you click on the bars once and then click on the single bar that you want to change the color of second time, you've selected just this bar. And if I go to the eyedropper tool under shape fill, I can select my color. Click on the second bar. Make sure only the second bar is selected and not all of them. Click on the third bar. and so on. So now we have all of our colors. It's looking good. We just need to add the shape and make it into the pictorial chart. I'm just going to use a basic bottle shape taken directly from the icons inside PowerPoint. So we'll go to insert, we'll choose icons, and type bottle. Click on this one and click insert. If we go to the size of this, I'm going to make it nine high. So we'll type nine in there. And then, so we can use it in the graph, I'm going to right click on this and choose convert to shape. And this is the shape we're going to use. I'm going to drag it onto the 74, put it roughly in the right place. I actually want it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to hold on to shift and drag from the corner until it's the right width. So now all we have to do is draw a rectangle over the shape and then we can cut it out from that. So I'll click on rectangle. I'll draw my rectangle over the top. Center back so we can see the bottle. Shift click to select the bottle as well as the shape, and then go to shape format, merge shapes and fragment. Now, if we click on the graph, we can right click and choose center back. And then I can click on each part of this that I want deleted, which is the center, these lines and the top. So that's our bottle cut out. We can now click on it and choose control D to make the others. So there's all our cutouts. If we select them all, go to shape outline, no outline, and shape fill white so it's the same color as the background. All we need to do now is finally draw one gray panel to actually show what the bottles look like when they're not filled in. And to do that, we'll just go to rectangle, draw a gray panel anywhere.
set it to no outline, send it to back and then we'll adjust it. Just going to select the white panel covers, move them across a tiny bit so they're in the centre, using the cursor keys. Excellent! There's our pictorial chart, made from a bottle. I'm just going to quickly adjust the height of the overall chart so it makes sense visually that 74 is, for example, almost three quarters full. So if I just click on the whole chart, I can just drag this down to where I think it looks about right. That's looking pretty good. And because this is a live chart, we can right click on it, choose edit data. And I could, for example, go onto this one and change it to 80 and everything would adjust live. So once you've made this once, you can reuse it or change it as you like. We'll quickly add some animation. So we'll click on the graph, animations, just select wipe. From effect options, we'll choose by element and category, so one of them comes out at a time. Then we'll go to the animation pane and make sure that the first one, which is just this text at the bottom in this case, is just on a fade. And let's play that. Excellent. And just as a bonus, I'll show you how you can easily even add a background to this. So if we right click and choose format background, and go to picture or texture fill and insert and stock images. I just use this blue one in my example. You can see what that does straight away because we colored this white. But we can shift select all of these and then go to slide background fill. Great. Finally, we'll just make the text white. That looks good. And in my example, I made the bottles actually white as well. And then the text just on this first one gray so you could see it. Brilliant. A pictorial chart and you can use any graphics you want for any style of this. And the graph is live in PowerPoint and you can edit the data at any point to adjust as needed. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.